So for several decades, uh, the clinical behavior, the morphology, and the immunophenotype of NLPHL has been shown to be distinct uh, from that of classic Hodgkin lymphoma. So I think more studies are needed and will be done to define the biology of NLPHL through GLOW and, and other uh, groups. Uh, but certainly, it does appear that the uh, biology is distinct for NLPHL, and I think in terms of um, developing individualized approaches, a better understanding is needed and necessary and ongoing. I think what we've seen is that relapses continue to occur, even uh, over a decade after initial diagnosis. And so I think the most promising treatment approaches for the majority of patients will be those that study deintensification. Um, so we're seeing, you know, uh, observation after complete excision of stage one or uh, CVP with or without rituximab um, for early stage or even radiotherapy alone for stage one, two. These approaches um, are standard treatments um, that should be studied further in the context of prospective clinical trials, um, but likely represent uh, suitable approaches for many patients at low risk of high risk uh, events occurring for NLPHL.